repeatability reproducibility now what is repeatability variation in a measurement system of the same unit measured by the same operator using the same equipment so repeatability is all about when you are trying you know one person when you are trying to measure something today tomorrow over a period of time so when you are measuring it you are the same person you have a same product let's say if i ask you to measure this you are trying to use the same scale today and later again tomorrow and if you find there is a difference that is called repeatability problem right so that is you are repeating it repeatability problem generally happens when there is a equipment problem because you are the same person so problem is maybe from the you know the equipment what you are trying to use that can be a uh, you know root cause behind that accuracy is uh, from the target whether you are hitting the target or not repeatability is all about when a same person is using the same measurement over a, you know continuously and if there is a error so that's called repeatability so uh, resolution is all about when we look at you know how detail we are able to capture okay capability of our measurement system to detect the changes that's the resolution part okay stability we discussed femin what is stability looking at you know how much is the measurement variation over a period of time using same equipment same operator and same unit mm. so these are few uh, concepts in msa now here you see too much of variation not precise not accurate here it's a precise but not accurate because here it should be and this is how your measurement system should be accurate and precise so now one more thing that you need to know is like when we talk about total variation okay see here when we wrote initially somewhere true variation is total process variation and measurement system variation right correct so when we talk about measurement system variation that will be what equipment variation right so that is further drill it down total variation is nothing but equipment and appraiser variation generally because you cannot calculate uh, this so we have to just put a square and you know standard deviation for the calculation which i will show in the calculation part now the important part the most important part is how do we do this measurement system analysis right there are two uh, approaches or you can say depending on the data so there are two types of data right what are those discrete and continuous right so if we have a discrete data so this is all about let's see analyze msa so if we have a discrete data we will use triple a which is also called attribute agreement analysis this is very interesting and important part okay or you can say attribute gauge continuous is for continuous data we will use gauge rnr so repeatability and reproducibility this is also called gauge anoa because it uses a method of anoa anoa stand for which will be learning in analyze space in detail analysis of variance using mean okay so simple as at green bell level if somebody ask you okay how do you do msa which are the approaches which test you do you can say for discrete data aaa or attribute agreement analysis or you can say attribute gauge uh for continuous we have gauge rnr simple okay there's no doubt about it